this is your favorite fan of Toronto. This is Stacy Johnson, and I want to just say that your network is my TV mentor. I think 2012 was a trying year for everyone, including Owen, um, but I think you've done a great job, you and your team. Um, I want to say the reason why I believe your network is one of the best mentor out there is I get to learn so much from you and your guests and I can see your movement and what you're trying to do for this world. Um, however, my favorite three shows are the ones that you do, obviously, because <laughs> I love you, Oprah. Um, I think what I like about the three shows that you do is they're all different and they, they, they reach to a different emotion inside me. My first one is Life Class. I think what I like about Life Class is that you bring on so many different people that share their life lesson. I was at the, I attended the one, I was one of the mobs that you saw through your window in Toronto, lining up for four hours in my heels um, to see you and it, I, I was so blessed to be there. It was, um, it was exactly what I thought. It was like church and everybody is in oneness. We were like, I even saw myself this small in the, in the wave cam, <laughs> you know, so I was excited about that. Um, but I really enjoy life class because I'm always learning from different people. Um, I think one of the most memorable lessons I've learned from watching life class is to put yourself first. Um, as a businesswoman, I always put everybody first but myself. And when I watched that segment, I really understood that putting yourself first wasn't selfish. You know, um, you try to please so many people and sometimes you put yourself last, which is not good because if you're last, then how can you really be first for other people. My second favorite show is Next Chapter. I like Next Chapter and I think some of my best guests that you've had on there was 50 Cents. I enjoyed Usher. I enjoyed um, Beaver. I enjoyed um, Rihanna. But I, however, I think sometimes when I watch Next Chapter, I think you're a bit easy on some of your guests. You know, I don't know if the question you ask them, but for some people, I feel like I get what I thought, I get what I was thinking, I get all the rumors were wrapped up. And um, sometimes when you have certain people on your sh on the next chapter, I feel like you hold back. So I don't know if that's an Oprah thing, but for this year, I'd love to see you more harder on those people that you really need to be hard on. My next, my third show that I like is Masterclass, which one day I hope to be a master of my life, of my chapter, of my industry. Um, but I love uh, Masterclass because it shows people who have uh, mastered their profession and how they now can be, they're master it so now they can teach us. Um, I enjoy Maya Angelou, I enjoy your Masterclass. I enjoyed um, Jay-Z's Masterclass and um, However, the only thing I would say I would like to see more of in 2013 is I would love for you to put more positive things on married life. I would love to see you spotlight people on your show that's, they don't have a perfect marriage, but if they could share their story of what has made it work for them, even though it hasn't been perfect, they've been hurt, they've been betrayal, but they've allowed it to work. Um, but that's the only thing I think I would like to learn more on um, because um, we all can learn from each other. And my other two shows outside your show, Oprah, is um, The Purple Couch. I think it's Life Project, it's called. It's a Toronto show. Every time I watch that show, Oprah, I have to draw some Kleenex. It's so touching because it's like everyday people coming off the road, sitting on this couch, telling their story, and it's so real. You know, so I'm, I'm glad, first of all, that you're giving Toronto a chance. I still want a chance. So they give me hope when I see that. Um, I also like live, um, Fix My Life. Um, when I watch that show, I really want to give um, the show a clap because I feel like she's so raw. She just tell it as it is. And so many times we want to be told, yes, we're right when we're wrong. And I really think that show really put people in their place. So I look forward to continue to watch your show and be mentored even more in 2013. 
because um, I think your network is really on track. No matter what nobody says, you're on track. You've got me. Um, I've been paying attention to everything you say and all the guests that come on there and how I can be a better person. At times, I really think last year, you really some of your segments really kept me alive. Like I really went through some things that Honestly, if I wasn't really watching your network and getting that knowledge and that forgiveness and that um, teaching, I probably would have just call it quits. So again, I'm one of your biggest fans in Toronto and I feel like I can't wait for you to come here and share more Oprah love. Oh yes, another thing I want to see more of Oprah, it was so funny when you had the um, army wives and you were doing that Oprah funny dance with the shoes. <laughs> seeing you act the fool Oprah because every time we see you you're in business mode and I think people think you don't have a fun side but every time I see you let your guard down and you actually have that Oprah laugh and that Oprah personality it's just bigger than life and I enjoy watching you so keep up the good work Oprah 2012 mentor hot secret